In the front you can see the rotating fabric takedown and in the upper part the yarn creel and delivery. The circular knitting machine uses individual moved latch needles in needle beds of a rotating cylinder. Here they move up and down. These up and down movements are produced by resting cylinder cams with their steel plates inside. These cams enclose the cylinder from outside. The yarn carrier, the sinkers and the cams of cylinder and dial are called feet. The needles pass one after another through the feet and form stitches. The courses of stitches are arranged in the fabric like the threads of a screw. Additional needles, so called dial needles, can be applied in horizontal direction on a dial for the production of double face fabrics. These needles moving on an orbit with the rotating dial and are moved by the resting dial cams radially. The rip machines, as shown in the representation, the cylinder and dial needles are arranged on gap. While rising, the dial and cylinder needles are crossing each other within the gaps. The rotating dial needles are recognizable above the rotating cylinder needles. The open yarn carrier gives a good view at the process of stitch formation. In particular, the sequence of movements of the knitting cylinder needles has to be watched. The representation shows in interlock technology the rising cylinder and dial needles in their highest position, where they participate in the stitch forming process. In interlock machines, dial and cylinder needles are confronting each other and only every second needle rises on the gap of the still standing confronting needle. A needle selection has to be carried out for interlock by long and short butt needles, so that two different needle movements are possible in each needle bed and feet. So only every second dial needle and every second cylinder needle rises on each gap, leaving the left needles in their position without knitting or floating. The exchange on the other needles is then carried out in the following feet. The dial needles are recognizable only as brilliant points in this view. The red course worked on the feeder before is covered with a white course and worked in the previous needle gaps. The surface of interlock fabrics is done and well suited for printing.